Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. If you like these labs, please consider supporting me via my Patreon or the cryptocurrency options in the description. Also, please subscribe to the channel for more labs like this. In this lab, we will once again configure EIGRP, this time in a network that uses IPv6. Configuring EIGRP for IPv6 is very similar to configuring OSPFv3 for IPv6. Rather than using the network command in EIGRP configuration mode, you configure it directly on the interfaces. Aside from that, there isn't much different between configuring EIGRP for IPv6 and for IPv4. Let's get started. The first step is to configure loopback interfaces on each router. These will become the EIGRP router IDs. Like OSPF v3 for IPv6, EIGRP for IPv6 uses a 32-bit router ID in the form of an IPv4 address, although it doesn't have to actually be an address on the device. You can manually configure the ID. However, if you don't, the highest IPv4 address on a loopback interface will become the router ID. If there is no loopback interface, the highest IPv4 address on a regular interface will become the router ID. I think I've configured enough loopback interfaces for these videos by now, so just for this video I've already configured the loopback interfaces on R2, 3, 4, and 5. Let's just quickly do it on R1. Enable ConfT Interface L0 IP address 1.1.1.1 255.255.255.255. Okay, that's all. Next is to configure EIGRP on this network. Let's start here on R1. To configure EIGRP for IPv6, just put IPv6 in front of the usual command. IPv6 router EIGRP. And once again, we'll use the AS number 100. Now, as I mentioned before, we don't actually activate EIGRP on the interfaces from here. However, one of the requirements for the lab is to make R1's G02 interface passive. Previously, we used this command to suppress advertisements on loopback interfaces, because there's no point in sending advertisements on interfaces leading to nowhere. In this case, however, we want to advertise the network on the G02 interface into EIGRP, but want to suppress advertisements on the interface because of possible security risks of sending EIGRP advertisements out towards the internet. The command is the same as with IPv4. Passive interface G02. Okay, now let's activate EIGRP on the interfaces. Interface G00. IPv6 EIGRP followed by the AS number 100. That's all there is to it. Interface G01, IPv6 EIGRP 100. Interface G02, IPv6 EIGRP 100. Okay, we've activated EIGRP on all of R1's interfaces. Do show run. Here's the EIGRP configuration, but what's this? Shutdown. Yes, EIGRP for IPv6 has a shutdown feature. I think that whether the process is shut down by default depends on either the OS version or the router model. In this case, it's shut down by default, so let's go back to EIGRP configuration mode and activate it. IPv6 router EIGRP 100. No shutdown. Now I'll go through and do the same thing on the other routers. R2 next. Enable, ConfT. Now, we don't actually have to create the EIGRP process here. We can go directly to the interface, and if we activate EIGRP AS100 on that interface, the router will create the EIGRP process for us. Interface G00. IPv6 EIGRP 100. Interface G01. IPv6 EIGRP 100. Okay, so that activates EIGRP on the interfaces and creates the EIGRP process. However, we haven't gotten any messages about an adjacency with R1 yet. 
Why is that? Once again, the shutdown feature. To be honest, from my CCNA and CCNP studies, I don't remember having to enable EIGRP for IPv6 with no shutdown, but it seems some routers require that by default. So for the test and real-world situations, just be aware that EIGRP for IPv6 has a shutdown feature. IPv6 router EIGRP 100, no shutdown. Next, let's go to R3. Enable ConfT IPv6 router EIGRP 100, no shutdown. Interface G00, IPv6 EIGRP 100. Interface G01, IPv6 EIGRP 100. Interface G02, IPv6 EIGRP 100. Okay, let's go on R4. Enable ConfT IPv6 router EIGRP 100. No shutdown. Interface G00 IPv6 EIGRP 100. Interface G01 IPv6 EIGRP 100. Finally, R5. Enable ConfT IPv6 router EIGRP 100, interface G00, IPv6 EIGRP 100. Okay, we've configured EIGRP on all of the routers. Let's go back on R1 and see if we have all of the routes. Do show IPv6 route. Looks like we've got the 23, 34, and 35 networks we want. Next, we have to advertise a default route to the internet from R1. Now, EIGRP doesn't have the default information originate command that OSPF has. So how can we go about this? Well, we can advertise the default route as a summary route on the G00 and G01 interfaces. Let's try on R1. Interface G00. The command is the same as for IPv4, just use IPv6 at the beginning instead of IP. IPv6, summary address, EIGRP 100, and remember the default route for IPv6 is colon colon slash zero. Now let's go on G01 and do the same. Interface G01, IPv6, summary address, EIGRP 100, colon colon slash zero. Let's go check on one of the routers. I'll check on R5, because if R5 has the route, R2, R3, and R4 must as well. Do show IPv6 route. There it is, right at the top. Okay, in this lab we configured EIGRP for IPv6. The configuration is similar to EIGRP for IPv4, However, remember, you must configure it at the interface level. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, I accept Bitcoin and Ethereum donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave verified publisher and accept BAT or Basic Attention Token donations in the Brave browser.